Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we will learn how to calculate area of the watershed and also we will learn how to calculate length of the stream. So you can able to see here are first order stream, second order stream, third order stream. So I want to calculate how many first order stream in this area, how many second order stream in my area that I want to calculate. So I have a watershed boundary and also I have streams in it. So now you can able to see this is dam below in in background there is a dam and here is a my watershed boundary and this is a stream order. If you don't know how to prepare this watershed and stream you can see my previous videos I have shown in a dam analysis how can we do that and uh, now we will learn how we can calculate the area of this watershed okay i want to calculate the area of this watershed so for that what i will do i will right click and after that right click there is an option open attribute table i will click on the open attribute table after clicking on the open attribute table you can able to see here my attribute table is open and now i will click here that is a table option here is a add field option is there in add field i will write down area and uh, i want to calculate i will take double and here i will click ok after that i will right click and i will calculate geometry option is there i will click on calculate geometry i will click on yes and now to calculate area your watershed should be projected so now you can able to see WGS 984 UTM zone 43. So my watershed is a projected. So what unit you want? Suppose we want square kilometer or square meter. So suppose I'll take square meter and I will click on OK. Again, I will click on OK. So this much of square kilometer area of the watershed you can able to see. So I'll close it. So this is the way we can calculate the area of the watershed it's very simple right click on properties after right click on properties we can add field after adding field we can calculate area so now i want to calculate the length of the stream okay to calculate the length of the stream here is the stream i will click on the open attribute table so you can able to see number of streams here first order second order third order stream is there so suppose i will click so this is a uh, one stream then another stream so uh, these are the all stream information is here so what i will do i will right click and option is there is a add field in the add field i will calculate length here i will add you can also take float or double suppose i want double i'll click on ok then i will right click again i will go to calculate geometry i'll click on yes so you can able to see length we can calculate here so our uh, file is projected stream order now here you can select meter or square kilometer or kilometer kilometer or meter or inch whatever the unit you want you can take i will take meter I'll click on OK. Again, I'll click on OK. So you can able to see this much of the length of this order. Again, you can able to see this is the length of this first order. So this is the length you can calculate. Now I want to calculate how many first order in my area. How much? How many second order in my area? How many third order in my area that I want to calculate? To calculate that in the stream order table, here is a grid code okay grid code means first order second order third order you can able to see all the order here first order second order third order so i'll select this grid code i'll right click then i'll click on summarize after click on summarize in the select of field summarize should be grid code okay after that choose one or more summary statistic to be include in the output table so here i will select length so I want to calculate minimum length, maximum length, average length, sum length, standard deviation and variation. I want to calculate. So output folder you can give here. I will click on OK. 
again I will click on OK so now here table is added by the name of some output so this table I will close and I will open this summary table now you can able to see so this much of first order in my study area 157 first order in my study area second order is 81 third order is 53 like this we can calculate so this is the minimum length of the uh, first order and this is maximum length this is the average length and standard deviation and variance length you can able to see like this we can calculate first order second order third order fourth order in our study area or whatever the order is available so this is way we can calculate so in watershed last order should be one but uh, in my area this is the only half watershed so that's why it's coming five length here so you can take a particular watershed and stream length then you can calculate first order second order third order how much available in your area that you can check very easily by using this summarized tool so this is for the today so thank you